Hello fellow photographers, retouchers, and editors. Beautify has released the latest version of their best-selling Photoshop panel for portrait retouching. Introducing Beautify 2, a premium Photoshop retouching panel. I'll walk you through some of the changes between the previous version, which is 1.6, with this current one. But first, let me show you how to download and install this panel. If you'd like to purchase this amazing tool, I have a 10% discount code which is on the video description below. So I've downloaded the panel on my computer. Let's try to install it now. You can manually install it by copying and pasting the files to Photoshop's extension folder, but I prefer to install it the easy way. Download the free Anastasi extension manager at install.anastasi.com. Double click on extension manager to open it. Select Photoshop, click install, then search for the ZXP file from the Beautify folder and click open. Once you see this notification, you've successfully installed the panel. Let's open this image and have a look at Beautify version 2. Let's just set the exposure and white balance to auto and open the image. So this is the previous version of the panel which is version 1.6. It has a black and gold theme to it. Let's now open Beautify version 2. Go to Window, Extensions, Beautify V2. Let's put them side by side. 1.6 is on the left. Version 2 is on the right which has this dark blue and black theme. So these are the layout changes. Some functions have either been moved, renamed, or rearranged. But most of the basic functions on version 1.6 are still on version 2. Like the skin and eyes retouching, makeup, atmosphere, luminosity masks, and noise reduction and sharpness. The one thing they added on version 2 is the mood tab for adding different mood and color filters. Alright, so let's close the old version and edit this image with version 2. Let's see if it makes any difference and if the upgrade was worth it. First, duplicate the layer by clicking Ctrl J. Then select the Spot Healing Brush tool and start removing the obvious blemishes. Note that this brush tool is destructive. So if you make a mistake, you can undo it by pressing Ctrl Z. If you want to remove blemishes non-destructively, use the regular Healing Brush tool. Alright, I think I'm done. Let me zoom in and show you the before and after. This is the before. This is after. Let's now use the new Beautify panel. Let's start with frequency separation. I'll adjust the amount of surface blur to my preference. Then click OK. Now it's telling us to brush on the layer to reveal the effect. So we press B on the keyboard for the brush tool and make sure that the color is set to white. Again, the white color reveals, the black conceals. I will not be precise with the brushing. For the sake of this demo, I just want to show you what it can do. To double check what you have painted, Select the mask and then hold the Alt key and click on the mask. The white color shows the area that you have painted and the black shows the area that you have not. Let me just brush over and make sure that the entire face has been painted. And then to go back, hold Alt and click on the mask again. Okay, let me show you the before and after. This is the before, after. Let's zoom out. Before, after. 
the effect is subtle, but you can still see the difference. Let's try it on another photo right here. The model's skin doesn't have any distracting blemishes, so we can proceed with applying different skin retouching processes in Beautify 2. First, let's duplicate the layer just to be safe, and apply frequency separation. I'll adjust the amount of surface blur, set the radius all the way to 0, and threshold all the way to 255. Then we slowly increase the radius to a point that the skin tones start to blend well together. Then we start decreasing the threshold until the details on the eye start to show up. Once we're satisfied with it, click OK. Now we're ready to brush on the skin and apply frequency separation. Select the mask and press B on the keyboard for the brush tool and make sure that the color is set to white. And we start brushing. Notice that I can brush over the eyes, eyebrows, nose and lips without actually affecting it. Only the skin is being targeted by this frequency separation function, which is impressive for me. I don't need to worry about being precise and brushing slowly and carefully. I just brush on the entire face and that's it. Alright, to double check what we've painted, hold Alt and click on the mask. Let's go ahead and paint white on the areas that we missed. Then hold Alt and click on the mask again to go back. So this is the before, after. Let's zoom in. Before, after. We can play with the opacity right here to fine tune the intensity of the effect, but I think it's perfect at 50%. So what do you guys think? Did it do a good job? Let's try a few other skin retouching options, shall we? Let's give plastic skin a try. Now I'm being lazy, and I just want to see what the effect can do. So let's just copy the mask from the frequency separation layer and duplicate it. Select the mask, hold Alt, then drag the mask on top to replace it. Click Yes to replace the mask, and that's it. We've applied plastic skin. But for me, this is a bit too much. So we just need to lower the opacity of the effect to about 50%. Now this is without the plastic skin effect. This is with the plastic skin effect. Let's zoom in. No plastic skin. With plastic skin. So what do you think? Let's go for a third effect and select Defect Remover and Skin Texture. Again, we adjust the amount of surface blur, as well as the skin texture. We use the same mask we had earlier and lower the opacity of the effect to 50%. And voila! We've applied the Defect Remover and Skin Texture. Let's zoom in. This is the before. This is after. I firmly believe that it really boils down to the decision of each and every editor on what he wants his final image to look. This has been an ongoing debate among photographers for ages, but photo editing in itself is personal and very subjective. Okay, let's move on and check out the additional feature in Beautify 2, which is the mood section. So we have three drop-down menus here for mood, light colors, and filters. Wow, this is quite overwhelming. Let's start with the mood section and select the first option, Musi. Okay, so it applied the effect very quickly. Next, let's try Epic. Hmm, okay. Let's try Italy. We move on to the light colors and select Sunny. Okay. 
Now let's try ancient. Hmm, okay. And last, gothic. So it looks like the changes in colors are subtle and nothing too dramatic and flashy. Let's go over to the last section which are filters. So this is the Lux effect. And this is Sandy. This is YT. Honestly, I don't know how they come up with these names. Let's go all the way down to the last item, G18. I wonder what G stands for. So mode basically does what it does. It changes the overall colors of the image to set up a scene or color theme. In short, they are basically just filters. Honestly, I barely use all the functions here on Beautify. Call me old school, but I still prefer editing manually, especially in playing with colors and compositing. I would only use Beautify for skin retouching, but that really depends on each individual on which tools he needs and find them useful for his editing workflow. If you have questions or you want me to dive into the other functions of Beautify 2, let me know and I'll try to make another video about it. If you're interested in buying this panel, check out the link on the video description and use my coupon code for a 10% discount. Once you go to their website, click buy now and proceed to checkout. You have the option to purchase add-ons if you want to such as this 6000 high quality presets, overlays, and action pack, or this 15 star effect brush and rain photoshop action. Then just continue to check out. Fill out your contact information, type in my 10% discount code, and click apply. That's it for this video. I know that there's still a lot that I haven't talked about. Comment down below if you want to see more Beautify panel videos. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.